All right, so the activity that I have set up for you is to create a new page, change the name of the page to Gallery Items, and then search for a subject uh, under the Gallery Essentials. Then we have to drag one of each type of gallery files over to the page. Now there's pictures, interactive and multimedia, notebook files and pages, and backgrounds and themes. Those are the different types. Now keep in mind that pages will fill an entire new page on you. So if the first thing that you want to drag is, uh, is probably a new page. So I'm going to create a new page by using the new page button. I've got a new page. I'm going to go over to my page viewer and I'm going to title that now. Right now it just has the date, but I'm going to change the date to the actual name of the page. So I'm going to call that gallery. Oh, is that what I needed? No, I need to change it to gallery items. Gallery items. Then I'm going to go into the gallery. I've already searched for a few things, but where we want to look is in Gallery Essentials. When you start off with the gallery, you have this full list. So I'll go into Gallery Essentials, and I teach a little bit of math and computer science. So I'm going to go into math, and uh, I can look at different strands that they have set up here, different, uh, different concepts, but I'm just going to go into pictures and drag over some pictures. Now obviously there's some very basic pictures. Um, we also have algebra tiles, some angles, stuff like that. But that's essentially their pictures. Remember that I said to go for a notebook page first. So I'm going to load a page first. How about the first page that I'm going to load is a cash register. All right, so I've got a cash register loaded up. And then I'm going to load a background. Hmm, perhaps printing paper. Let's see what that looks. Notice how the background went over top of the page. Let's try loading that page again. This time we'll put the bank teller on top. Notice how the background and the page itself undo each other. So you can't have both on at once. And it will automatically cover up whatever was there. If we go over, rather than having those, I actually have four different pages, and they're each given their own name by the page and by the file. So when you're dragging over an item from files and pages or backgrounds and themes, they will create new pages. Then if you were to drag something from interactive and multimedia, you'll notice that all of these have little signs in the top corner, these red signs that talk about flashes. If I were to pull over a clock face, we'll see what it can do. I can actually drag around the hands of the clock. Now this doesn't match the background very nicely, but I can drag around the hands and set it to different times. Perhaps a good way to test young students on the time. Now there's lots of other things that even have more interactive uh, qualities to them, like this coordinates tool. I'll drag and drop it over top. You'll see it takes a second for it to load and it looks like a fully self-contained program. Well, you can explore these programs, and I actually encourage you to do that. Just keep in mind that there's also a little volume button here, which means that there's sound on some of these gallery items. And if you were to just drag them across and drop them in, click on the sound, and the sound would go off. The last type of gallery item, the more common one, is pictures. Now that was the one that I had a view at first. You can drag pictures over top of anything, and they have a whole host of pictures for us to look at. Perhaps I'll just pull over an hourglass. Again, just drag and drop, and then these are regular objects. They can be animated, they can be shrunk and grown, and they can be moved around in the page. All right, so I didn't add very much structure to that, but while you're looking through yours, you should perhaps try and link items and try and link uh, backgrounds and the things that you put on them so that they do make sense and do have structure. But have fun playing around with those.